So I'm doing two different Elsa looks for the Frozen. Um, one of them is Elsa's makeup and one of them is Elsa inspired makeup. This one's going to be Elsa inspired makeup, so lots of blues and silvers. And yeah, let's just get started. So there's going to be some sparkle in this. I'm using the splurge creams. This one is dreamy, which is a pale blue. Um, again, with the splurge creams, you only need a tiny little bit of it. Like that's probably too much actually. That's it. So this one, I'm just going to put all over my eye. And give it a bit of a sparkle. And as always, you start with your eye primer and give it a minute to settle in. Or else you don't get the bright colours. Okay, and I'm going to take this right up to the eyebrow. I'm going to have a lot of sparkle in this. Okay, and then I'm going to use the pigments, so I have <clears throat> Playful and Heavenly are the two blues. Heavenly is gorgeous, it's, a, it's almost an aqua colour, it's got very slight green to it, but it's absolutely stunning. <clears throat> you have to excuse my little cold and cough all the way through this video. Okay, so I'm going to take heavenly and I'm going to take it just over the crease nice and light to start with it's better to have less and build up than to put on too much and try and take it off again there we go you see how nice that colour is if you add a bit of water to it, or a bit of rose water or primer, <coughs> it makes it so much more vibrant. We're just going to do this for now. There we go. And then I'm going to take <coughs> the playful, which is the pale blue. I can find my brushes and I'm going to take it up and over this and then just across the lid as well. Lots of blue. <clears throat> okay and then I'm going to go back to the splodge cream. This one is fickle. It was originally going to be called Whimsical, um, but the same month that this came out, we also launched in Germany, and at the last minute it was discovered that Whimsical was a very rude word in German. So they changed it to Fickle. Okay, and this one, I'm just going to go over the crease. Quite hard to see actually, I've got the sun in a really weird position. And then take that out with a little bit of a wing. Can you hear the people in the street? Let me just close that window. Oh, I love double glazing. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this back in as a liner. Do -do -do. I feel like I should have like some theme music playing in the background. I should have got the um, Let It Go song, shouldn't I? Played it for you while I do this. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm actually going to mix the two pigments together. See how that goes. And I'm going to take it just into the corner here. And again over that crease. I'm 
And then for the liner, I'm going to take <coughs> this gorgeous aqua colour. Smudge it with a little bit of playful. I'm going to go back to the dainty and I'm just going to redo that silver on the lid. Put a little bit extra on this time to get a bit of a darker colour. And then you just blend it all together. Blend, blend, blend! You guys know how much I love blending. Blend it with a fluffy brush. Ta da! And obviously, we're going to add some magic mascara at the end. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye so that I match. Okay, so I'm going to take a tiny bit of concealer and just neaten up the lines around the edges of this. I'd probably do with a clean brush, but never mind. Actually, you can do this with a blending bud. I love my blending buds. And you've got that nice point on the tip. So I don't know if you saw, like, when I said a tiny bit of concealer, I really meant, like, the tiniest little bit. <laughs> I love this stuff. And just, like, the bits that I've smudged out when I've been blending it are now gone. And it's a nice, sharp line. <laughs> okay, so, the next thing we're going to do before the mascara... Because everything needs magic mascara. It's just a bit of a liner. Because Elsa likes her eyeliner. The sharpener. I need a different pencil sharpener. Okay. I know I've got the blue. But I'm just going to bolden it a bit. With the black. And then, if you're grossed out by eyes, look away now. This is called tight lining. And it's basically just colouring your um, lash line from below your lash line. So it's hard to get to it from here. And for some reason, I always feel like I have to like talk without moving my mouth when I put my eyeliner on. It's a bit bizarre. But there you go. You go a bit liner, a bit of boldness. And then for your lips, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So you've got a choice with this one if you want to finish the look off. You can just do a really neutral lip, which is what Elsa wears. Um, so you can just put on like a nice gloss or a nude lipstick, like upscale. Ta da! Mm. Or, lip gloss in my mouth, good job it's gluten free and vegan. Or, you can go a bit crazy, like we like to do, and take the pigments, and you can do a nice blue and silver lip as well. So this one is the Playful. And I'm going to do a bit of an ombre lip with it. Now you can put this over gloss, like I just did, to show you the two differences. Or you can put it over a lip balm, over a Vaseline, um, over a primer, basically anything that makes your lips sticky. If you want to go all out frozen, 
And I'm going to take the Dreamy, which is the Silver Splurge Cream. I'm going to lighten just the middle of my lips with it. Basically the highlights. And that's the definition of an ombre lip really. If you highlight in the middle and then your shadow around the edge. Ta da! Right, I'm gonna go in search of my mascara and finish the lip off. Send you pictures.